No Film School's coverage of NAB 2019 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Rode Microphones, the choice of today's creative generation. SERP, simple, portable motion control. Hey, this is Charles Hain. I'm here at the secret behind the scenes bunker for Adobe. Uh, and we are at NAB Show 2019, and we're talking about some major improvements rolling out for the Adobe Creative Cloud. Obviously, the marquee improvement is Content Aware Fill for After Effects. That's super exciting, but there's a whole bunch of stuff for us to talk about. How's it going? Going well. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you for having us. So uh, you were just, we were talking before the roll, what you were saying the three big areas that we should talk about. Sure. There are three distinctive pillars of investment. Performance, stability, then there is efficiencies, and then there is innovation. You already mentioned the piece of innovation that everyone's talking about. The talk of the town is content aware fill, probably for a good reason, because it's been one of the most loved features in Photoshop for years now. And we've been looking at ways to make it work for video, which arguably is a ton harder. Just finding pixels that work in one frame, that's magic already. You know, if you look at the examples already out there, and we're super pleased to see how playful people are with, with the feature and trying to figure out what you can do with it for real. Sometimes you won't get the job done, right? So the failures are interesting too, but it's surprising to see how many great examples are out there as of now, if you take it to YouTube to see how many good examples of things removed from a scene that would take a day, a week manually, and you get it within, you know, 10, 15 minutes with content aware fill for video. So if you look at some other kind of innovation that I think is equally important, it's all about a great user experience with the products moving forward. So in, in Premiere, for example, the biggest piece of innovation is actually a better design for how you rationalize the way you look at media and organize it and actually look at what you've got in terms of the story even before you push a single thing into the sequence. It's called Freeform. It's a third way of looking at the media. and It's got opportunities to have the thumbnail smaller or bigger. You can build stacks. You can push it around. It's a huge board, basically unlimited. You have board layouts that you can save. So it's also a very collaborative thing. If people work on the same project and there's a handshake and you need to see different things from the same bin, it's a super sweet feature to, that just lets you think differently, more creatively about the content in your project. We've learned a ton by doing Premiere Rush because that isn't about technology at all. It's about a great experience, right? And the team actually really did a ton of A-B testing, a really good amount of user research before even creating a single line of code. And we're learning from that a, a lot for the pro video products as well. It's just a great process to go through and have early on feedback, even indeed before the engineering teams get even engaged in the conversation as to how to build it. About a year ago here at NAB, we've introduced user voice as a platform to give us feedback. It's really dead easy to get to it. You just go in inside Premiere or After Effects or Audition to the help menu and then there is send feedback and it takes you to that place. Um, we're using that to get an aggregated view as you can vote up something that's already on the platform or come up with something new if, if you have a great idea. Obviously, we have a lot of them on the platform, but it's kind of nice to see how much in some areas where we didn't actually pay enough attention to uh, things crop up and just get to the top 20 of the list. We've knocked off 70, by the way, uh, over the course of the year so far, but we're hitting uh, three of the top 20 for Premiere with this release. Uh, and some of it is surprising, as you may say, you really didn't have rulers and guides before, and I wouldn't blame you for saying so, but it's now in the product, and it's even nicely connected with the After Effects world where this feature existed for a very long time. So you can import those rulers and guides or push new ones into the program monitor as need be. It's just a really neat way of having an all Adobe workflow without ha ever having to think about whether or not that feature exists, because it should. Another good thing in this release is certainly the track mixer um, that hasn't had the flexibility that you're familiar with from Audition. So it's a similar thing, right? If you're familiar with one product, why can't you have a similar experience across the board? So that was also one of my top 20 for Premiere to have an easier way to rearrange within a track to be able to copy and paste to another track. That's all in the update that we're showing here at NAB.